what I call the inflammatory chlorophor if people want specifics. Like if they haven't looked at these foods relationship with their body, like does this food love me back or not? Gluten containing grains would be on that list. And it's going to be things like wheat, rye, barley, spelt. Is it the wheat or is it what we've done to it? I think it's a bit of both. Number two would be industrial seed oils like vegetable oil, canola oil, soybean oil. Third would be added sugar, which is kind of a no-brainer. Most people know that. But I would even look for the nicer sounding euphemisms for sugar that can be hidden. So look for the grams of added sugar. And then fourth would be conventional dairy. You can get A2 dairy, cultured, fermented dairies like yogurts or kefirs, things like that, that will break down some of the casein protein to make it more digestible. And then the plus one would be alcohol, which gets me no friends when I say that. But the alcohol (laughs) is also going to be a problem when it comes to people's chronic health problems. 